时间，没有人能够了解，在遇见你之前，不知心中什么感觉，想不顾一切，不让这份爱冷却，就算季节变换，我早已习惯，有你在才会有安全感，一瞬间仿佛。Okay. Do you want us to go see a doctor? I'm fine. The pain comes and goes. It'll stop. <sighs> okay, just rest. If you're tired, take some rest. You've worked a lot. You know what I'm thinking? I think you're getting stressed about Chai Yi, and about what happened. She's such a stubborn girl. You made effort to fix things with Wei Hua, and now. There's a problem with your relationship with her. You know I can relate to you a lot. Just don't think about it too much. You know that I owe my whole life to her family. Hmm. Oh my. my gosh, it really is so tiring. <laughs> hey, Chuya, there's something important I've got to tell you. Howran. Howdan just told me that he wants to to go to Hong Kong. You know what? I think he's going to leave you. It's normal for him to try his luck there. The young man has been working for you for such a long time now. So let go of him. Don't be selfish by stopping him. The boy has dreams too. Am I not kind enough to him? I helped him with almost everything. There's nothing wrong with your kindness. You know what? You're acting weird. What do you mean I'm acting weird? Am am I weird? You are. I'm not. Your <sighs> kindness to him does not count. He's not your son after all. And even if he was, you shouldn't take care of him when he's old enough. Let him go. You know what? There was this cute 19-year-old guy in our film crew before. We bumped into each other the other day. And now. He's a famous TV producer. Also, he is going to make two big budget films. What I'm trying to say is, you should let the boy find his success. I will visit you as soon as I finish this book, okay? Hmm. How do you feel? I hope you're feeling okay. I. Oh my goodness! I sent it without saying. I miss you, Ha and Yang, and I love you. The doctor said you had an excessive exercise. That's why you got a cold. Don't forget to take your meds, sir. It will help boost you up. I'll pick you up tomorrow afternoon. Remember to follow the doctor's advice. Please rest well. All right. Thank you. I'll see you tomorrow afternoon, sir. Don't forget your medicine. Thank you.
Are you feeling better? After venting it all out? What's up? Why so quiet? <sighs> hmm, I will try to understand everything that you told me the other day. And I think that we shouldn't be fighting with each other from now on. I'm sure we'll get through all of this together. It's over now. That's not funny. Do you want me to go there right now? Hmm? Don't do that. I went to the US alone. To give time for the two of us to calm down. Well, I'm very calm right now. I will... I'll visit you. I just need to finish this book first. Just listen to me. I didn't leave because... It's not because of you. It's because of myself. I know I made a selfish decision. But I did it. Because I don't think I can face you. Or be able to stand again in front of you. Hey, Anyang. That's not who you really are. That's exactly who I am. <sighs> we can get through this. No matter how hard the situation may seem. Just wait for me. We'll be together again soon. We're done. Don't call me again. What is this? I want to find Anyang in the US. Chai. No, don't stop me. Don't convince me. It won't work. I really need to find him. He said he wants to break up with me, and this time I know he's serious. Then why do you still care about being with him? I know he did it for you. I'm pretty sure you'll forget about him one day. Besides, how on earth are you going to be with him? You don't know where he is. I don't know where he is, but I can try searching all the hospitals in the U.S. for him. I know I can do it for him. It may take days and months, even years. I just really need to find him. What if you don't find him? What if he doesn't want to be found, huh? What will you do? My love for him will still be the same. Even if he doesn't want to be with me. Kuchai, you're going out of your mind. Yes, I'm going out of my mind. I worry about where he is every single day, and I'm gonna find him wherever he is. I really need to be with him. I want to spend my whole life and have a family with him. Why don't you try to give us a chance, Chai? Are you really sure it won't work for the both of us? Chai, just say yes. And I'll wait for you the rest of my life. I'm willing to wait for you to love me even if it takes me forever. I'm sorry. All right. It hurts me, Chai. I tried my best to fulfill all of your wishes. But I guess my best wasn't good enough. But the last time, I will give you what you want.
遇见多少人陪你走走停停，人们都说岁月无情。陪伴却最长情，无论经过再久再远，爱都没有保质期限。他总是什么都不怕，其实没那么强大。时光轻别伤。I didn't mean to lie to you. I just don't want to be a a burden in your life in the future. It'll hurt me more. But you already lied to me, right? You know I'd fly to the U.S. to look for you if Ting Hao hadn't told me where you were. I could have been in the plane right now if I didn't know where you really were. So all this time, you haven't been getting any treatments? I have. All right. Then I won't get mad at you for lying to me about it. But there's one thing I need to ask. Never lie to me. Or leave me again. Because I will surely die if you do it again, okay? I know you're in pain, mentally and physically. I know this might sound selfish, but can you do me a little favor of letting me visit you every day? I just want to take care of you. I really need to do it. I want to make sure you're okay. Will you? Huh? <laughs> Please? you pick it up? It's been ringing the entire morning. Just let it ring. I don't want us to be disturbed. Chai Yi, mm -hmm. I know how concerned you are. Don't worry. I will never leave your side again. I'll take what you said as your promise to me. Meow, what's up? Well, I received it. I'll see you in the office soon. They want me to attend the meeting. Hmm. All right, go ahead. See you later. What? Are you seriously going? What? I could ask for a day off. Wait, let me call them. I'm sure it's fine. No, go ahead. I was just kidding. What do you want for dinner, honey? You said you're attending a meeting. All right. I'll be here right after work. Just wait for me.
She wandered for half an hour. What was she thinking that time? What's happening to her? I think Wei Jen's right. Hello? Hey, Doctor Who. It's me, Song Shu Hao. Were you able to make a diagnosis with my friend's illness? The one I told you about before? Doctor, is it a severe case of a disease? Uh, you know, I haven't checked her, and uh, it's hard to make a diagnosis. But listen, basing in your description earlier, Walking outside alone at night and being forgetful? It's possible that she's suffering from... Suffering from what? From senile dementia associated with her age. It's at least 20% possible. Wei Chen, you don't need to worry about her. With a medical technology advancement, I'm sure she can be treated. There are methods to slow down senile dementia. I didn't think she could suffer from that disease or I just underestimated it. Well, her symptoms are similar to that of sleepwalking. If you're free in the coming days, could you please take her to the hospital for a checkup? Please, I really am so worried and scared about what could happen to our friend. Can you do it for me? Okay, you can count on me. I'll go check on her. Thank you for giving me a ride. Okay. Bye. Hey, look. I've added some corn grits on your rice. They're healthy. Wait, there's more. Hmm. I also prepared one of your favorites, Harbin sausage. <laughs> mm. Smells good. Come on, taste it. <laughs> you like it, okay? It's Xu Chensha. <sighs> What's the matter? Huh? This blasted gas range isn't working. I can't cook. Well, the battery of the induction could already be empty. Just replace it with a new one. It's inside the drawer. Which drawer are here? I need to hang up. Bye. Xu Chensha is calling you all the time. He keeps on stressing me out. I'm so sick of this.
How is it? How does it taste? Too salty? What are you doing? I'm having dinner with Chun Hua, and you keep on bugging us with your calls. Wait, 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 calm down. Can you tell me how to make a pickled eggplant? A pickled eggplant is hard to teach, especially now that I'm not there. You won't get it, I'm telling you. Okay, listen. Steam the eggplant, then add soy sauce and garlic, okay? That's it. Now stop calling me. Then what will I... Hey, hello? She's so impatient. Xu Zhangshu really loves to talk to you. That's why he keeps on calling. I don't care if he loves talking to me or not. Come on, don't stop eating there. Taste this. It's not so fatty today. You'll like it. Here. Only the two of us are eating. Why didn't you call the others? There's nobody else. You should have just gone inside. What are you doing here? Nothing. I just dropped by. Look, look! Your house is really a mess without me, huh? Hey, did you water the flowers over there? I told you to water them every day, right? Oh my goodness! What? Oh, come on, just put it I'm on. I'm just going to mop the floor. Forget about it, just put it okay, on. Okay, okay, I'll put it on. Fine, fine. <laughs> put these there. Go, 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 now put it there! Oh boy, look at that! Okay, then. Goodness! Look at that food! What kind of dish is that? Instant noodles, as usual! Huh? I almost forgot I bought you these. Here's some medicine for your stomach ache. You need to store some of these here, okay? That's for stomach aches and colds. Life alone is hard, so you better take care of yourself. Well, now that I am here, you won't feel lonely! I'll be here with you, okay? Oh, good. How are you doing so far? Have you been drinking? Let's have a drink together. Good? Okay. Why did you come here today? I told you. Well, I just missed you. What do you mean you've missed me? Hey, can you tell me what happened to your blind date, huh? I stopped that stuff. Why? Are you feeling desperate with your life? Not my life. It's more of I'm desperate for myself. Come on! Like what some people say, when the Lord closes the door, he'll open the window for <laughs> well, you. Well, it feels True. like he has closed even the back door for me. I don't think so. You're just losing your heart because you're having a divorce. There's a lot of women out there. Someone will come. Don't worry, because I'm sure someone better will replace her in your heart. Cheer up, okay? Oh. I almost forgot. Here. <laughs> I made a gorgeous scarf for you. It took me quite some time. Thank goodness I finished it. Here, try it. It doesn't look that luxurious, but the thread is made of pure wool. You look really smart wearing it, so I suggest wear it whenever you go on a blind Ouch. date. This what thing is, is really itchy. What is this thing made of? It's making me itchy. Does it? Come on, it's made of pure wool. Pure wool, my butt. That fabric is so cheap. Hui Chen gave you a sweater made from pure ho hair. Okay, all right. Next time I will add some hoe hair into it, okay? Do you even know what hoe hair is? I do! It's horse's hair! Oh. It's mohair, Ho hair, okay? mohair, hair, it's all the same. I can't bear the sting. Just take that back with you. Come on, it's not that bad. I tried it on at home. Okay, okay, I'll just keep it. I will dismantle all the threads, and I will be adding mohair here, just for you. It's okay. I have the time. I can make a new one for you. Okay, then I think you should go home. <clears throat> what else do you want me to tell you? Nothing. I just need to make some more preparations. Uh, anyway. <laughs> Are you crying? Oh, me. I'm not crying. 
I'm just kind of shy. Okay, listen. A man can't live without a woman beside him in his life. Your marriage with Wei Qin has come to a very painful end. We've known each other for years, and I've had a crush on you since childhood. I just didn't have the chance to tell you about it. <laughs> Because you and uh, Wei Jin were together during that time, and I think you're a great couple. I, I really admire you two, but now that you're divorced... Uh, what's with that look? I find you really, really funny. You know you and I are just friends. We can't go anywhere beyond that. You know what I'm thinking? Then it's unfair for Hui Chen if you have that intention. It's totally fair because you two are already separated. I'm not a homewrecker, so, so stop pretending to be so upright. It's what? over. Your marriage with Wei Jin is over. Your long marriage with Wei Jin's already a part of your history. You know what I did? I've wait, I've waited for this day, this particular day, to tell you, to tell you how much I'm in love with you. And, and don't tell me you didn't notice it! Both of us are consenting adults now! So we should have all the confidence in this lifetime, because time is running out. We're not gonna live forever. So we should master the courage to face the remaining time of our lives. You got divorced with Shu Weijin already, so I hope you can forget it and start a new life with someone. Don't you feel all my love for you all these years? I'm sure you feel it, didn't you? I know you felt it somehow. I am sorry, Mei Ling, but I didn't. I know you have the right to love me, but I don't think I am Mr. Right for you. I'm short-tempered, I'm grumpy, stingy, and dark. Eyes are small, noses flat, cheekbones high, and lips are thick. Uh, I'm not worthy of your love. You are still young, so attractive. You're good at dancing and singing at Shanxi Opera. You've had a lot of nice men who want to pursue you, so why me? Well, you just listed down all of your weaknesses in front of me, but these weaknesses aren't absolute for Shu Wei Shin. They may be real weaknesses, but for me, they are all reward. So I don't care. I, Mei Ling, am not. I'm not rich, but I know I'm young. I really love you with all my heart and soul. You're my destiny, my love, and you are Mr. Right for me. So I'm willing to kneel down and to worship you and to wash your feet whenever I you want me to. I think I'm going to die sooner than I Come thought. On, I don't your like life this. Though, it won't be shortened. I love you so much and I've loved you for so many years. Tell me, don't you feel it? Hey, <laughs> Mei Ling, listen to me. You know that Hui Chen and I lived together for over 20 years. And yet she still chose to leave me on my own. You won't be able to stand my temper. You said it again. Now I realize how hard Shu Wei Chen's life was when she was with you! It must have been hard for her to live with you for so many years! Because you are so unsociable! You are so short-tempered! You're so grumpy and indifferent! You have nothing but insecurities, and you are very selfish! Oh my goodness gracious! I must really be crazy for loving you all along! I'm so I stupid! I can't agree with you more! That's exactly what I am! You really are so good at identifying people! <laughs> okay, fine, but you listen to me! You won't get a good life ending because you will die with so much loneliness in this house. It's so stupid of me to make myself believe that you can love me the way I love you. What now? Hey, calm down, calm down. I am calm. Listen to me, okay? My love for you is ending right here. It's dead. Along with our friendship, mark my word! I won't care about you anymore, and you should remember that! I don't care about you anymore! So yummy, I mean it. <laughs> Take your time, chew it. Well, give me more rice, please. <laughs> Take your time, chew your food first. <laughs> <laughs> this is so good. <laughs> you can eat some more. My world.
According to your medical report, uh -huh. it's possible you've got lung cancer. Well, are you sure about it? Tell me what's the percentage and how severe. Based on your report, it's about 80%. 80%. But we need another biopsy to be able to confirm. Biopsy? We'll puncture your lung to get a living sample. Then we'll use that medical sample to further confirm. Right. Well, can... can we do it today? I mean, I'm free the whole day. No problem. I'll make a reservation. Okay, okay. Thank you so much. I've signed the consent form. Did you come here alone or with someone? Uh, well, it doesn't matter. I can do it alone. I'm sorry, but huh? we require the signature of an accompanying family member. All right. I see. Thank you, nurse. Sure, no problem. Bye, Miss Chuya. Bye. We'll Bye see you again much. soon, Director. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah, thank you. Hey, how was my performance? Do you have to ask? Of course you did great, sister. Did you take a video? Yes, I did. I'll show you later. <clears throat> Hello? Shangzi? I'm actually on the road now. Be patient. You've waited 30 years. Now is a short time, am I right? Okay. I'm sure a couple of minutes is fine. Hey, will you, will you go after dinner? I will. Okay, it's near here. I'll be there in a few. See you later. Okay, see you later. <laughs> Wei Hua? Not really. Right now? Hey, Chuya. My best friend is in the hospital right now, and she badly needs my help. I'm really sorry, but I can't meet you at the airport. Oh, I'm so sorry. You know what? I wanted to see you off. At the airport with a big smile on my face. But this time I cannot, so please take care of yourself, okay? I... I will see you soon. Tria. Twas very... nice to meet you. You too. Take care of yourself too. Um, take care of yourself so I can recognize you in the future. Hey, I gotta go to the hospital and help my friend. Have a safe flight, okay? Got to go. Don't forget about me, okay? I'll miss you. Goodbye. This is the last time I'll be saying goodbye to her. I should have told her the truth, that I've gotten divorced. Brother? Yes? Please tell her about it. After you put me to rest. Weihua? Oh, hey, What's wrong? Chuya. Why are you alone? Why didn't you tell me why on the phone? Well, I... I'm sick. You? Sick with what? Uh, lung cancer. Really? Mm. 
That's impossible. Wait, it's You're fine. scaring me. Well, uh, have a seat. Have a seat first. You have to listen to me. You know, Ma often suffers from intestine and stomach illnesses. I brought her here for a checkup the other day, and, yes. and while we were here, she told me to have my back pain checked as well. So I had a lab test done, and today I got the results. Well, according to the doctor, there's an 80% possibility that I might have stage 2 lung cancer. And for them to confirm that, I need to have... Mm, I need a biopsy which requires someone to serve as family. I, uh, don't know how to tell everyone about this. I'm also scared to know the truth. You just need to sign it, and then they can proceed. I have no idea how to tell Chai. I would like you to sign the letter of consent for me. Yes, of course. Where's okay. that letter? Wait. Just sign over here. Here? Yeah. What Just about put there you're my younger sister. This. Over there. Oh, that's my copy. Just give them the other one. Okay. Stay here, okay? Okay, I will. <sighs> um, where should I submit this? Here, let me have it, ma'am. There. Okay, you can wait outside, ma'am. Okay, thank you. You're done? Yes, I am. We still need to wait. All right. None among your parents? None among your family? I mean, they don't have cancer. Plus, you don't smoke at all. How did you get lung cancer? It's so strange. How did it happen? I don't know as well. Well, maybe it's my fate to have it. From the first examination... To the city scan, I've been feeling really upset. And while I was waiting for the result, oh, I've never been so scared my whole life. I've thought of calling you too, to ask how you did it. How? Do you really want to know how? Yes. Honestly, I get so anxious whenever I remember. You were? There are times when I wake up in the morning. I wonder, what if it's a dream, a nightmare, that I got cancer, but in reality I'm extremely very healthy. But it turned out to be real. You really do. <laughs> <laughs> I hope the biopsy result will turn out negative. <laughs> hey, just fight, okay? I'm okay. I'll calm down. It's a small thing. <laughs> hey, if it's just stage two, I hope it can be treated. Really? I swear. I need an operation to kill it. <sighs> After talking to you on the phone, everything that happened came flooding back to me. I even recalled the day I gave birth to Chai Yi. Remember that? I lay down <laughs> with my big belly, crying from so much pain. I even begged the doctor to just do a C-section. Oh, just do it. And the doctor said, I the cervix that. is wide right. open. Right? The doctor saved you from a lot of pain. That's right. At that time, I got inside the delivery room with my friend's help, and I was dressed in a white gown. Remember that? Oh, I considered you as my lifesaver during the time I even shouted, Ah, oh, hurry up! I'm dying from this pain! I held your head like this, and I said, Don't be afraid. I know you can do it. Yeah. Do you remember what you told me? What did I tell you? Chuya, I'm dying of pain. Don't even try to have a baby. <laughs> 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 then I visited you after, uh -huh. and baby Chai was already in your arms. You were holding uh -huh. her like this. You looked at me, and then you told me something. What did I say? 
Chuya, when will I have my second beautiful baby? <laughs> <laughs> Shh, lower your voice. Don't be nervous, just relax and breathe slowly. Uh. Hai 